Number 14, Caleb Stewart. Now the starters for the tonight, number one. Good evening, Blaine. ladies and gentlemen. This is Celeste Foreman coming to you live from the Blaine Bengals Fieldhouse, where Rodney Moorhead is going through our starters for the Blaine Bengals, already gone through the Elk River Elks, alongside Ranthill at the camera. And this back in the studio, we got Jeremy running the works over there. We are looking at the last regular season match for both of these teams and the last regular season night for high school volleyball. Um, more than likely high school sports for the uh, at least the time being, at least four weeks here. I will be joined alongside one of Blaine Bengals JV players, TBA. I will let you know who our special guest is later. Taking a look at our benches here. Oh, we gave it away. Never mind. Here's our bench with the Blaine Bengals getting ready to take their, their home court for the last time this season. Starting over there for the Elk River Elks coming into the gym at a 9-4 and four clip. We've got Ella Johnson at middle blocker alongside also Johanna Langben in the middle and libero Alexa Melcher. Outside here is Jordan Hund and Grace Koski. Got a couple of setters who will probably play right side for Elk River and Ellie Cotton and Emma Olson. For the Bengals, we've got looking like it's Evelyn Thormasgard setting and Eliana Schmitz and Clara Brown on outside hitter. And then we've got Ella Kappas at the right side, Zoe Smith in the front row in the middle. And Elk River is about to kick us off with the serve. Passed well is Schmitz to the middle, tipped. Dug well, out of system ball, swung by the outside here, not handled by the Bengal block, and point for Elk River. These are two very competitive teams. I think we're gonna look for um, Elk River and Blaine both to establish their middles. It looks like there's a lot of repetitions coming out of the middle for Elk River, and we've seen the Bengals this year be pretty insistent that they're gonna go to the middle, except this time they go to Ella Kappas on the outside for the kill down the line. Perfect pass, great hands to get her that ball in a space where she's super comfortable swinging down the line. Serving is Schmitz, tough serve. Interesting handle by the setter. Good strong swing, but just a little too far and the Bengals get an easy point. Don't really have to think about that one. Serving again is Schmitz, 2-1 Bengals. Passed on a dime, set to the outside, a left-hand hitter switching over to the right. Can't handle it as the Bengals off of the transition. Solid dig by Eliana. A little bit of a trouble spot because Evie and Ella were transitioning past each other. So just a little bit, a little crowded over there. Solid serve by Elk River. Set to the right side, cross court and down. Beautiful shot by Ella Kappas. It's a tough ball to dig. Their setter didn't even want anything to do with it. Lydia, Lydia Erie, the libero for the Bengals serving. Handled by the libero very well. To the right, lefty on the right side. High and outside, clear up. Brown with a punch. Not your typical volleyball mechanics, but sometimes you just gotta do what it takes. And a point for the Bengals, who are up four to two. High deep serve. Up river in system. Big swing, cross to the six. Scrappy volleyball there by Elk River. Clara Brown with the high hands hit, but blocked. Reverse to Ella Kappas. In system, to the middle with a tip. Picked up by the setter, Evie. Free ball for Elk River. To the middle. Off the block and down for the point. That is Johanna Langben. Senior middle blocker stands at 
Solid offensive player for the Elks. Now she's back to serve into the net. Point Bengals still giving the Bengals the two point edge, five to three. Subbing in is Casey Burnett for Ella Kappas. She'll go back and serve. High deep serve, passed well, high to the outside. Solid swing and not dug well by Eliana Schmitz. Just a little out of position there. Good swing by, uh, I believe that was number, looks like number 10, Jordan Hund, yes. Good strong swing, serving. Lydia Erie gets Casey in a little bit of trouble. Athletic play saves it. Heavy throwing guard off the high hands. Out of system swing for the right side of Elk River and scores. That is Ellie Cotton from the right side. I'm pretty sure, yep, Ellie Cotton has 312 swings, just attempts this season for Elk River. So between her and Miss Olsen on the outside, they're gonna get a lot of swings tonight. Good serve. Laura Brown gets through the block, still playing as Elk River to the 5-6 seam. Paige Crow gets a touch, but not dug to a settable play. Serving is Olsen, just long. Got some oohs and ahs from the crowd, but Lydia Erie's mother Right on that line. Coming in now for Clara Brown is Haley Studer. And back in for Paige Row is Eliana Schmitz. So we got an outside hitter exchange, front row, back row. Studer high deep serve. Elk River out of system. Kind of a trouble ball there for, it looks like that was Cotton on the outside trying to, trying to do a rescue, but just a bit wide. Studer here, serving her second serve. Good pass to Cotton, who swings, hits it right in the middle of the net, and I just need to welcome Miss Olivia Durain to the broadcast. Junior extraordinaire, middle blocker for the JV team. Say hello, say hello Olivia. Hi. <laughs> Your fans are excited to have you here instead of just hearing me drone on this whole entire time. Studer with a miss serve, just a little bit wide and long there. So Olivia. Last regular season game for these teams. What do you think they're thinking out there? I mean, everyone said that the season's going to end early. We're glad that we get to play our last game, though. Good point. Excellent point. Back at the serving line is Hund in the middle of the net again. Easy points for the Bengals. Olivia, what's it like when you're on the other side of the court and the other team misses? It's definitely a great feeling watching that free point go up on the board. Serving is Jillian Hansen, just a little bit wide, okay, a lot wide. We usually look for a few more serves out of that serving run from Jillian Hansen, so I'm sure coaches, Coach Thomas is, uh, not, I'm not gonna say she's miffed, but I bet she wanted that one back because Jillian's a good server. Swinging is Evelyn Thornitz guard, the setter, setter to setter connection for the cross court kill. Coming into the game is Ella Kappas. Casey Burnett scoring points, setting her teammates up, and then getting a quick break while Evie serves. Another one wide. How does coach feel about two missed serves in a row? It's definitely not going to be good for many coach. <laughs> no coaches like it. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I mean, I can't imagine a single coach who likes a missed serve. Good point. Short serve, handled by the middle, unconventional. Ella Kappas with a strong swing. Elk River's in system though, to their lefty on the right side. I believe that is Olsen. I gotta remember that, number 23. That girl's a lefty and she swings heavy and she's got about 300 attempts on the season for Elk River. My guess is they're gonna go there a lot. Another short-ish serve, better pass this time. Running the middle are the Bengals, Zoe Smith with the kill. Olivia, number 14 for Elk River. Girls 6'2". So if you're a middle hitter and you're going up against a 6'2 blocker, what are you thinking? How are you going to try to score? Oh, he's got to pick an angle. Got to go around that block. Excellent, excellent advice. And for the Bengals is Crow. 
great serve. Bottom falls out of it. Elk River still gets a swing, but an easy pass for Crow. Reverse, uh, I believe. Oh, I did not hear a whistle. My hearing is a little off. We got a net call on the Bengals. Did you see who it was? No. A lot of fingers up. It might have been the middle. I would guess. Most front row players look pretty low numbered. Great passes, Paige Crow to the outside. Clara Brown down the line. Scramble play, not handled well. If you're a blocker and Clara Brown's swinging at you, what do you got to do? You got to press over, open those hands. See if you can take something off for the back row. Lydia Erie serving. Short, low, faster. Running a slide for the 6-2 middle. Oh, Clara Brown with a save not kept in play, but great hustle play. What do you think about that play for the Bengals? Good touches, at least people are going after balls. So what do you think that means for the next point? Keeping that momentum going. Lingben still serving. Hansen out of the middle, creating angles. That lefty on the right side, swinging down the line, not able to dig it is Lydia, but also off the high hands of Clara Brown's block. So some decent touches, just not able to keep it playable. Not bad volleyball, but the Bengals just went down by one. It's 13 to 12. Paige Crow with a great pass. Evie Thormansgard finding her setter, her hit, right side hitter, Ella Kappas for the kill. No but he touched that ball straight to the floor after the crowd went ooh-ah about the serve. What does that do to the momentum for Elk River? We'll see. Down a little bit. Yeah, we'll see. The Bengals are hoping, right? Overpass, Clara Brown with a sweep. Easy dig for the, for the Elk River Elks. Back out to Clara who hits that line like nobody's business. Point Bengals. Casey Burnett still serving. Small two-point run here. Look for a deep float maybe. Oh, a little bit of top spin, maybe miss hit. High ball to the outside. Looked like high hand swinging. Elk River crowd likes the swing, but the Bengals like it more since it didn't get hands or court on their side. And we've got a 15-13 two-point lead for the Bengals. Slightly out of system, Sutter takes it into her own hands, handled by Burnett. Clara Brown <laughs> thinks better of it, taps her number and says, oops, that's my fault. Does she want it back? Everybody does. <laughs> it's one of those mistakes you don't plan for, and after you do it, you're, you're, you know you did it. High deep serve just long, and that is Emma Olson. Also doing setting duty. Her 22 and 23, those two girls are, are uh, designated setters at six feet and five nine. Not a bad combination for right sides and setters. Studer back to serve. Not passed in system. Elk River is gonna give something free to the Bengals. Dropping free ball swung big by Jillian Hansen. Dug back over, the Bengals are out of system. Tough play to make. Is that Eliana Schmitz on the outside side there trying to handle that? Studer needed to take maybe a little more time. What do you think? Pull it off the net a little bit. Get under it a little bit more. Beautiful. Give Eliana some room to swing. Serving is Hund. Erie with a pass. Just sent over with a down ball is Thormans guard. Setting the middle is Elk River. That's Johnson. Bengals give away a free ball. Elk River is out of system with a free ball. Good on the Bengals on that one. How did they score even though they sent over a free ball? It's always hard to score off a free ball, especially when you get a good pass up. Hansen back to serve. Comfortable for the Elks because they like to set their right side. Not a great pass if you're trying to set your middle or your outside, but since they are going to 22 and 23 on the right side quite often, that is their, that is their bread and butter. So they get that side out and they're down by one, 16-17. Studer leaning in, just getting a shank off that serve. 
This is the libero Melcher. A little knuckleball. Studer wants her feet to get there. And there's one of those three points you were talking about, Olivia. Cap is back in. Burnett to the bench. After three great rotations of setting and defense. And here's Evelyn Thormansgaard serving deep. Elks out of system, but a great roll shot from Cotton. Bengals not whoa, swinging big, but Elk River able to handle it. What do you think about that outside uh, attack? Did you not see it, Olivia? No, I didn't. Olivia's still tired. She played a JV game. Elk River's a tough team to beat. And that serve drops in short, and we've got a one-point advantage for the Elks. This is still Cotton serving. She got Schmitz on that short one. Trying to interrupt the route by Evie, the setter to, uh, to her designated location. Serves there again, this time great pass. Ella Kappas, good swing. Elk River trapped, but blocked. Out of bounds is Schmitz. Two point advantage for Elk River. What do the Bengals need to do to get a side out here? They really need to get their energy up, keep it going. The minute that they let that momentum go, they need to get their platform under it. Or three points, like you said before. Not a bad thing, not something you can rely on though. That's a really good point. We've got that outside exchange we talked about earlier. Crow coming back in to serve and Brown coming in to hit in the front row. Page with her deceptive serve. Good coverage by Thormansgaard. Shot by Brown. High six ball. Crow digs it. High hands for Clara Brown down to the ground. Did it look to you like Elk River kind of looked at each other and nobody made the distinctive move to the ball defensively? They watched it hit the block and were expecting the block to do a lot more than it did. Weren't really expecting that trickle over. Out of system are the Elks, 2020. Bengals tying it up, good dig by the setter. Here he comes in to set El Capis for the tip to the well. Always a good spot to tip. Coach Brummer. Teresa Brummer, a long time Elk River head coach, calls her first time out at 2120. Bengals have that one point advantage, Olivia. What's Coach Brummer saying to the Elks over in their huddle? Well, in the 20s, when you got those five points left, is not the time to let up against a team. So you think that she'll be telling them to keep swinging, stay aggressive? Yeah, something I might have heard from another coach. Who would that be? Oh, I don't know. You? Oh, okay. Who's your JV coach right now? Callie Newman. Callie Newman. She doesn't say anything like that, does she? Yes, all the time, every day. I knew it. Okay. How did you guys do against the uh, the Elks in that JV match today, Olivia? Uh, we won in two. First game was got close. We let up a little bit at the end, but we pulled back through. Excellent. They went long. So even though you started on time and only played two sets, it still took extra time to finish the match out, huh? Yeah. That's an excellent way to finish the season. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. It's a fun game to play. Awesome. What do the Bengals got to do here? We've got a 21-20 advantage. They, just, they can't get comfortable. They got to keep pushing. Got to finish this set strong. I like it. Set the tone. Paige Crow serving. High deep serve. In system are the Elks. Tipped by the middle. Lydia setting the right side, who's a little in trouble. I don't know about you. Yep, okay, thank you, up official. A very clear net touch on that one. Sometimes as a down official, you forget your responsibilities are the net and look past and try to find the ball. Great, great cover-up call by the up official. Teamwork. In system are the Elks. Good blocking scheme by the Bengals. Reverse to Kappas with the tip. Trouble down. And I believe it is 23 to 20. The Bengals two more. Are they thinking two more or what are they thinking here, Olivia? They're thinking that they just got to keep pushing. And then Coach Brummer, with all of her knowledge and expertise, calls a timeout. Great timeout call by her at 23 20. What are the Bengals saying in their huddle over there? They just got to keep this momentum up, keep it going, making smart plays. Making smart plays. 
What does that mean? You gotta look where what's open on the court, find what's gonna make them scramble a little bit. You don't have to kill it every time. Just gotta put it in a place that's gonna get them moving around a little bit. So you're saying you don't always have to swing big, but you should be aware of what's happening out there? Is yeah. that what you're telling us? Okay. Good insight, Olivia, thank you. Two timeouts taken by the Elks. They are done. 23-20, Paige Crow serving. Great serve to the opposite sideline of where she's been serving. That lefty on the outside, giving the Bengals a little trouble, but they're in system. Deep throw is Brown, easily handled. Another deep throw by the Elks. Back at you, she says. Lefty on the right side swings, gets the antenna and the point for end side out for Elk River. What did you think about that rally? They had some good plays, but you gotta make sure that that block's still in the right way so that it's not going out. So for you, what you're seeing is some of that technical pieces that if they could clean up some of those, like just turn that block, that outside hand in, instead of that ball going to the antenna, it'll go down to the floor, yes? Yeah, hands are there, you just gotta make sure that it's, the ball's going the right way. But there's the Elks with a good swing down the line, high and over top of the Bengal block. Some good plays, some good passes here. We just haven't gotten a finish. So both teams playing decent defense here in these last few points of this in the red zone for the volleyball sport. Right side, Ella Kappas. Cross court, easily self-covered. Evie and Lydia, a little bit of a discussion about who's gonna take it. Evia takes this one. Evia? <laughs> I just combined the two players. That would be Evie and Clara Brown. That one off of the Elk River block, kind of the same thing you were saying about the Bengal block, but this time on the on the red and white side of the net. Got to get that square up by the blockers. Erie serving. Crafty play by I believe that's Cotton. Yes, that is Cotton. Crafty play, sharp cross by the lefty. That is called the two to two. Tough ball for the setter to dig. Tough angle for the blockers to block. We got ourselves a match here. 23-20, Elks serving. Solid serve by the middle blocker, Langben. Good swing by the Bengals here. Free ball coming over, trying to get crafty. Shot by Ella Kappas for the set win, 25-23. Bengals win, they'll go to their benches. We will have a three minute break here in the gym. The key here for the Bengals looks like passing and keeping the offense going. We're gonna send you all, our listeners, to uh, a break. We'll be right back. Bengals Elk River, Blaine High School. Welcome back to the Blaine Fieldhouse here in Blaine, Minnesota. The Blaine Bengals varsity volleyball team is taking on the Elk River Elks. They took set one, a close one, 25-23. Serving now is Evelyn Thormitz guard. Free ball to the Bengals. Lydia Erie with a great dig. Big swing is Eliana Schmitz for the kill. If you can get that nice swing in there against that block, the block didn't look like it was quite tilted in right. She definitely took advantage of that. What we were talking about in set one, coming back again to for fruition. Sure. For the outside hitter to take advantage of. Out of system are the Elks. Still a good set, good swing. Evelyn tries to use the high hand dig and doesn't quite move in the direction she's looking for. So we've got ourselves a 1-1 tie with Cotton going back to serve. Looking for the serve call. Low, flat, fast serve, high pass is Brown to the blocker, Wilson. Easy sweep for the point there. You definitely don't want to overpass at this level. It's easy points for the other team. Good point there. Serving at Brown again is Olsen. No, I'm, I apologize, that's still hot in back there. That's an ace. The other one, an easy point. This one, an ace. Claire's got a, Claire's pulled out of the serving, service receive rotation. Smart move by coach. Erie with a good pass. Not him, not set well by Evie. 
She wants that one back, but still playing are the Bengals. Tough ball for Kappas, kept alive. Big swing by the 6-2 middle blocker, Langben. Keep going, says the Bengals and the Elks. Dug up by Evie. High trap set into the net by Hund. Schmitz gets her feet underneath her. We're still playing volleyball. Deep throw down the line. And we've got a net violation on the Bengals, and it looks like that will be violation by the Bengals middle there. A lot of good volleyball happening there. Coach making a sub. What do you think about this sub? I mean, it's, the student's definitely more of a back row player. I feel like right now they might need some defense when they're down by three. Good point, 4-1 lead for the Elks. Struggling to get in system out of serve receive are the Bengals, sending a free ball. In system are the Elks. Coach Brummer on the sideline screaming at her player to hit the ball instead of tipping because she's a powerhouse. Lefty sharp cross, Studer with a high hittable ball, not clearing tape. Four contacts on the Bengals and the Elks go up five to one. I also see this as kind of a, a passing set sub here. Because El Capis more of a right side than an outside, so Studer more experienced passing. Great pass by Schmitz. Turning left is Smith, but right there is that 6-2 blocker I was talking about earlier, Langben. She was turned in the right direction on that one, what can you say? And we've got ourselves a 6-1 lead for the Elks and a timeout for the Bengals. Olivia, give us some wise words here. What do the Bengals need to do? Bengals, there's plenty of time left in the set if they can get their momentum up and start going. They can really pull through and win the second set. Do you see any um, any need to to change, uh, I don't know, attitude, energy? Like to me, it doesn't feel like energy is an issue. Just maybe even more calm would be kind of a, a key to kind of just reversing the momentum out there. What do you think? Feels like they're getting a little frantic. Like maybe they aren't quite prepared for what's gonna be coming over. Okay. But I think that that's definitely fixable. So it's all within their control, says Olivia Durain to the Bengals, if they could hear, which they can't, which is all the same. Alongside Olivia Durain, Celeste Gorman, hanging out for my fourth or fifth game, fourth game for the Bengals this season. Still serving is, I believe that is Cotton. Still serving. Good pass by Schmitz. High, easy set for Ella Kappas. Free ball for the Bengals. Communication error and easy points. Elker. We've got a seven to one lead here, Olivia. At what point do, do the Bengals start to think, okay, we gotta do something? I mean, I imagine that's in the back of their mind this whole time. It's just a matter of putting things in action. Execution is key, right? And there we have a single block on a 6-2 middle hitter. My guess is that coach is gonna want someone else up there with her instead of one person blocking. Good job on Zoe Smith's hands to try to press and get something off. Outside hitter, not quite there. Quick offense by the Elks, 8-1 lead as well. In system are the Bengals. Evie Thormans guard says, my turn. No says the Elks, coming back with a, just a save is Schmidt's deep throw. Dug by Studer, chased down by Erie, sent over by Kappas. Quick ball in the middle, sent long by the middle hitter. I don't know if there was a touch at the net. I see Coach Brummer and all people wearing red saying touch, 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 but the ball was hit long and that's what the officials are gonna go with. I don't know, I wouldn't wanna be the one making that call. <laughs> Good point. Two eight Bengals, Schmitz at the serving line. Dumped over by the setter and done well is Cotton. Lydia Erie read it, just not on her feet, maybe long enough. Committed to the dig, to the floor, maybe too soon, we'll see. Serving is Koski. Brown with a pass, reverse to Kappas, blocked. Straight down, again. That was a nice press, they got their hands there and they got around it. Gotta be watching that block when you got a tall middle. 6-2, I think I said that before. Short serve. Passed well by Erie. 
Good high hand swing by the Bengals. Can't put one down. Here come the Elks with a tip. And it's wide. Bengals are happy about that, even though they didn't earn that point necessarily. They're scoring on an error, and I'm telling you, at that point, with probably a 6-0 run, they're happy to get that side out any way they can. 6-1 run, sorry. Outside to Kung. High hand, high deep ball. Hard to get her shoulder down as Schmitz. Great swing by, by Hunt. 11-3, Elks. Seems like the Bengals need to peel away at this, just one point at a time. Olivia, agree? Yeah. They just need to start working out a kick behind the feet. Plenty of game left for the Bengals to come back. 12-3, Elks. Some blocking situations happening on both sides of the net play is becoming a critical factor along with passing as you see here. The Bengals scrambling instead of running their offense as they did in set one. And I think what I'm seeing here with this 13-3 uh, lead for the Elks Olivia is what you were talking about earlier in that franticness, that feeling of frantic. They don't look frantic, they're just kind of playing with a franticness about them. So they just need to settle in, yes? Just like that. <laughs> yes, so good things happening. Just got to keep building on that, keep plugging away, keep them the right mindset. I like it. I like it a lot. Casey Burnett serving. 413. Bengals down. High deep serve. Elks running a combo play with that lefty on the right side coming around in the middle. Dug by Schmitz, sent over by Erie. High outside ball, Erie with a great dig. Hanson tipping. Coach wants her to swing, doesn't she? Lefty on the right side, got a platform on it as Burnett, but not high enough out of reach for Erie. Also, like you said, still seeing good volleyball. We're definitely having it on that court, and I just got to keep pushing at it. There it is again for, for this time Olsen. The setters both having long runs here for, for Elk River. Studer coming in here for that passing so Whether or not that's about who she's passing for, she's just a passer. So put her back in there and have the server have to think about it. Serve it away to Erie. Sent over is Burnett, scrambling. Down ball for the Bengals. Out of system ball to Thormans guard who takes a little off of it. Maybe not on purpose, but it scores. You gotta do what you gotta do. A point is a point. Especially at this stage in the game. With a 5-15 deficit. It's a 10-point deficit to crawl back from. Studer trying to pick away at it with a tough serve. Cotton says no. She says, I'm going to go high hands and try to take your setter out of the defense because I'm going line if it misses those hands, and she does. Jordan Hun serving. Senior captain playing in her last high school volleyball match. Burnett with the set. Schmitz with a heavy swing just wide. I have a feeling she's wanted to do that for a while and just hasn't been able to unleash. I look to her to swing again. I would be willing to bet. Really good swing, just a little bit out. And a long serve by Hund. And the Bengals are back. Serving. This is Jillian Hansen going to the serving line. With a 6 17 deficit. Stop the bleeding, as they say, yes. In system are the Elks, though. They say no again. Johnson with the turn to the right. The five corner wide open on the Bengals defensive side and Elk River goes up 18 to six. Looking really comfortable. I would imagine you got a 12 point lead. It's really easy to get comfortable. But then you can maybe start getting some three points back from the Bengals. Excellent point. But a point like that isn't really gonna bother Coach Brummer or the Elks because they, like you said, there's a 12, well now 11, but a, but a nice comfortable lead. So you can go for it on your service line. Another miscommunication. A little bit of that uh, frantic happening over there. 
And we've got a sub coming because I believe Co oh, Coach, yep, Coach has one more timeout over here, Coach Thomas. She's going to take advantage of her substitutions that she hits, about 18 of them, I believe. I believe. I'm not sure. Serve to the one. We call that a one to one. That is Ellie Cotton. Junior six foot setter with an ace. Coach making some adjustments with the passing. High deep serve, Kappas with the pass. Out of system swing down the line, causing problems for the Elks. Almost recovered, just a bit shy on their side of the net, but definitely a good effort was put out there. Absolutely. If effort gained points, that was about 12 of them, what do you think? I have to agree with you there. 20 to 8 lead for the Elks. Paige Crow with her wicked serve coming back to the service line hoping for something. Good serve out of system for the Elks. Swinging from the outside is the lefty. Line judge El Stoffaker calls that out correctly if you're a Bengal fan. And maybe even if you're not. Paige Crow serving again. 9-20. Another good serve, they're out of system, running a slide is Langben. Good swing for Kappas. Down ball. High to the outside, high hands, in reach for Hunt. She says, I got it. Free ball coming back, what will the Bengals do? High to the middle, looking for the tip, doesn't quite clear the tape. Great idea for Smith out of the middle, just putting, boy, just a little, maybe jump too early, what do you think? Put a little bit more on it, I mean, there's not really any way to know for sure. Just gotta hope that our next one's going over. This is Oski at the service line. Making it look easy are the Elks right now. It feels as though they cannot do anything wrong. Even though the Bengals are playing, I think quite well, doing a lot of really nice things, a lot of good communicating. Some frantic plays here and there, like you had said, but really not terrible volleyball happening out here. It just seems like the Elks that maybe are executing a little bit higher percentage or um, maybe able to keep the ball off the floor a little bit longer. Give us your insights, Olivia. Both teams are playing pretty scrappy right now. I think defense could be improved a little bit off the Bengals end, but it's just a tough team. They just gotta keep pushing. Seems like Elk River has plenty of offensive options. So when you're the Bengals defense, you, you kind of have to just dig in and say, we gotta go to work because they're not going anywhere. And if we wanna be in it, we gotta, we gotta figure something out, right? Gotta go in with that mentality that you're gonna pass this next ball. Excellent points, Olivia. Serving is Koski. Into the tape, into her teammates' hands. Three points. Definitely appreciated even this late in the game. Any momentum is momentum. 10 20 deficit, Lydia Erie serving. Solid serve, but even better pass for the Elks. Hund into the block. Kappas fired up. Looking at her teammates saying, join me, let's go. Definitely something you gotta celebrate. They're still playing their game, even this late in the match. Sticking to the game plan are the Bengals. Out of system are the Elks. Push down the line. Thorman's guard to Erie, to Kappas. Big approach, solid approach, just not quite clean on the hitter coverage. Looks like she kind of turned and reached a little bit when Evie or Olivia may have been there. Can't say for sure. Honesty is, is key. Langben with a tough serve. Brown with a big swing into the block, but inbounds on her side. She thought twice about taking it. Thought maybe she had coverage or she, they ran out of real estate without blocking those blocking hands. Elk River may have made an adjustment on their turn in on that block. A lot more blocks with Elk River. Yes, Kappas with that sharp cross. That is her, her go-to. That's her classic, classic Kappas. People say that, I don't think they do. I can say that they don't. 
Barnett at the serving line. 12-24, Bengals just looking to shift the momentum. Elk River looking to close it out and tie up the, the match. 1-1 on the sets. Bengals are going. Sharp crosses Brown to the lefty. Cotton to Brown, high and deep. That'll do it. 25-12, the Elks emphatically, and I'm gonna say that again, emphatically win set two. Olivia, keys to the game. Give us, give us one tip before we go to break here. What, what's gotta happen in order to make this a little more competitive? The Bengals have gotta get a little bit scrappier. Look at all those offense options and hope that they can start getting under some hits. I believe in them. I think they can as well. I think Coach Thomas and uh, her assistant coach, Coach Thomas, are really looking at their game plan over there. Uh, we've got uh, two and a half minutes here on the clock between set two and three. Tied up between Blaine and Elk River, a conference season closing match. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Joining us back here in the Bengal gym for action in the Bengal field house. Point one goes to Elk River in set three. Cotton back at the serving line. Some scrappy volleyball. I'm along Celeste Gorman alongside of Olivia Durain here in the last regular season of the 2020 high school volleyball season. And there is a double call on Gorman's guard. Not coming out of her hands clean or fast enough, so the up official says no. 2-0, Elk River. Low, fast, tough serve by Cotton. A little bit of look in there by Clara. Last minute footwork should have happened before the ball got there. Definitely a tough ball to get around. It's coming low and fast. That's why you want to have a fast arm on the serving line, correct? Low, fast, easily handled by Studer. Tipped is Hansen, scoring <laughs> off of the miss dig. Definitely a nice spot on Jillian's end. Here comes Paige Crow, senior. I believe Paige Crow is a three-year varsity player and letter winner. Last home match, last varsity high school match. Might get emotional here as we get going. Lefty on the outside from Elk River. In system is Crow to Thormans guard. Studer. Looking for a power tip just wide. Definitely a good idea. Just make sure, making sure it's in those lines is really important. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Koski with a tough serve. Passed by the middle up to the middle. Who says thank you? Middle passer for the kill. Johanna Langben. Senior 6'2 middle blocker dominating the net tonight. She's got a sophomore. Oh, great swing by Studer with a heavy arm into the block. High good blocking hands that by was just Elk River. Go ahead. Oh, swing. She wanted that one. Also playing in her, her last match of her, her senior career, volleyball career. Great run by Elk River. We've got some officiating crew who are saying we've got a touch on that. Everyone confused and kind of standing around, but the point will go to Elk River on a nice, looks like a, a back one for, for Elk River. Looks like an A. Well, depending on the gym you run in. Don't worry. Pass by Schmitz. Early is Kappas out of the middle. Tipping is Hunt for the kill. Elk River, another, another nice, comfortable lead here. Five points, they're up seven to two. Fast serve by Langben and into the net. So definitely a good place for the Bengals to get a three point to start that run. Agreed. Casey Burnett back in for the right side slash Ellie Schmitz. Ella Cap is playing middle for those of you keeping score at home. Great hands by the Elk River setter to keep that ball on her side. That's a high deep swing. Paige Crow gets a touch on it, but 
just can't quite control it. Just gotta make sure that you're getting under every one of those hits. Tough hit to get. Bengals gotta gain some momentum here. With Olsen at the serving line. Passed well by Erie. To Kappas in the middle. Burnett to Kappas. The right side slash outside slash middle. Ella Kappas. We call that utility where I come from. Studer at the serving line. I come from here, just in case you guys are wondering. Great serve by Studer, dropping out of the bottom on the libero for the Elks. Nice comeback starting, five to eight. A lot better than eight to two or eight to three. Bengals gotta keep on pushing here. Good swing by Cotton from the outside, creating sharp angles, coming inside, I should say, not quite the outside there. She's running more of a, a gap zone on her outside hitter swing. Tough to block, tough to defend. Olivia agrees. Well, she doesn't disagree, or she would tell me, trust me. Serving is Hund. Bengals running their offense from the right side as Thurman's guard. Confusion on the Elk River Elk side, and we've got a 6-9 deficit side out for the Bengals. Erie serving, Hanson back in on that libero middle exchange, or middle middle exchange since the libero is serving. High deep serve, great spot. Feed adjusting, great dig by Studer, high and outside to Brown, who gets the antenna on the beautiful swing. Definitely a nice dig up. Bengals are gotta be crying that they missed that hit. <laughs> it's one of those, you, you gotta just keep playing though. Studer's not mad. Passed okay for the Bengals. Back row attack, top spin from Studer. Middle tip from Langbin. Coach Brummer, swing. Jillian Hansen does, but just comes up short of the net. Four contacts on the Bengals, and we've got an 11-6 Elk River advantage. Melcher serving, Brown barely handling it. The Bengals trying to send over a free ball and just caught off guard, blocked by Langdon. Definitely not expecting free balls going over the net. Definitely takes some defense off guard. Correct, and Coach Thomas says, okay, we need to stop the momentum. That's too easy of a point for Elk River. Let's come in and talk about it. Reset their minds maybe, give them a few tips on how to uh, how to side out here. What do you think? Make sure that we aren't getting that same gap that we had last game, cutting it off early. So it's trying to stop that run before it gets too, too big and unclosable. Is that a word? It is now. Okay. Creating vocabulary, building our dictionary. Olivia Durain, Coach Celeste Gorman here on the sidelines of the Blaine Bengal varsity volleyball matchup between Elk River Elks. Come into the gym at nine and four. Playing some tough offense. The Bengals have offense of their own but have yet to find the best rhythm for them tonight. Looking to get a pass. Brown, okay. Big swing, dug well, sharp. Short cotton swing, and she scores. That's a spot that's hard to get to from defense. It's hard for the blockers to take that. Got to give them points sometimes if they deserve it. Stewart with an okay pass. Clara Brown taking something off of it, still causing problems. Free ball coming back to the Bengals. Stewart up. Burnett to Thormas guard who gets a big approach, big swing. Too much on the hitter coverage is Brown. And I couldn't tell, was that, uh, was that Lung or Langbin or was that Cotton on the right side? Either way, great offense from Elk River. Running their middle, Hanson with a tip. Easy coverage for Erie. All kinds of weirdness, we're playing. The officials say, I didn't blow my whistle. Short shot by Langbin. Six, 15, Bengals are down. In comes Paige Ewert. 
Coach has a timeout, but smart not to use it just yet. Hoping her team can put on some points before she has to. Thormans guard with a big swing. Elk River defense just there. Tip by Thormans guard, not handled well by Elk River. And that's a point for the setter slash right side junior, Evie Thormans guard. Back in is Schmitz, Casey Burnett, break three rotations, earning her water break. Thormans guard, deep serve. Elks are in system and just fine with that ball. Cotton with a big kill from the right side. Between those two kids, I looked at stats today before our match. 16-7 here lead for Elk River and Cotton serving. She's got 300 of their attempts on the season. And the other right side, 312. So between the two of them, they've swung 600 times. The Bengals are gonna need to play some defense and get some blocks out there. Definitely make sure that those hands are nice and big going up on that right side block. Serving again is Cotton. Coming in short, making the Bengals think about it. Hanson with a turn to the right, finally with a swing and the kill. That's definitely the swing we've been looking for from Jillian all night. She's got a lot of power and she definitely knows how to use it. And creates such good angles. I've said that before, if you've had to hear me before. She creates angles everywhere she goes and Ali Tao with a wicked serve coming in to play back row for Paige Ewert. Good deflection on the block. Lydia Erie coming in to fill in for the setter. High hands and Stuber for the kill. She's pumped up. Who wouldn't be with a swing like that? 9-17, Bengals got a lot of ways to go here, Olivia, a lot of ways to go. Tao still serving. Little bit short. Little bit short. You want when you got a point deficit. You're right, but as a coach, if she's going for it, I think I'm okay with that. What do you think? You don't like missing serve. You don't like missing anything. I see that. Good pass by Tao. Schmitz from the right side, just wide. Not quite connecting tonight. We see Schmitz connecting for a few more kills by this point in any evening. And tonight, just not quite getting her feet there, maybe. Not quite connecting with the ball in the... I, I, I don't know. I can't tell. Great serve by Koski. Okay, two things. Elk River's got a heck of a blocking team right now, and they are doing a great job taking care of the ball at the net. Offensively, they've got weapons, and then their weapon also from the serving line. And there's multiple people back there who are causing problems for Blaine. So they got to take care of the things they need to take care of. Miss hit by Studer on the outside. There's that big swing, just not clearing the tape. 21-9, Bengals down. Koski with a tough serve. Just more comfortable in her own skin back there than anyone I've seen all season. Olsen from the right side. Schmitz into the block. We live to see another swing. Studer with a high swing just out. Wide and deep. Coach Thomas talking to the down official saying, I'd like my second time out, please. He says, okay. I don't know, I see Haley Studer, senior, outside hitter slash DS, last year, six, five to six rotation libero. She's in the front row right now, and this is her last match of her high school career. She's probably gonna swing at every ball she can, what do you think? I would imagine she's definitely very comfortable in any position that you're gonna put her in. And effective. Not these last couple of swings, don't tell her I said that, her mom's looking at me, probably yelling at me for saying that, that's fine. But still, you're a senior, it's, it's your last night. You gotta go for it. Yeah, you're gonna play whatever volleyball you can play. So, 22-9, Elk River, tough from the serving line, offense across the net and blocking quite well. And then let's add in a, a really scrappy defensive effort here in these last two sets. The first two, or the first set, my, my apologies, this is set three. The first set, not quite as scrappy, but here they're showing what they've got. Studer with a shot. Out of the system are the Elks, but comfortable still with that lefty on the right side. Schmitz with a swing from the right side. She got high hands, but nobody sees it, including both officials and the line judges, and probably everybody else in the gym but me. Koski still serving, picking apart the Bengals reception. Hansen with a tip. Cool. 
Langman with a tip. Studer with a swing. Great defense by Cotton. Swung by Olsen. Sharp two to two. That is a wicked shot. And I'm telling you, when you're a lefty on the right side, you're one of the very few people who can get that one. And the Elk River Elks comfortable lead at 24-9. Looking to close out set number three and go up in sets. Lydia pass as well to keep the Bengals going. Great swing by Schmidt with just too much air, and she misses the court out the back. The Bengals go down one to two. Elk River comfortable with a 9 25 win in set three. Bengals have really got to pick this up for these last two sets that they can pull out with a win. Kind of the energy fell out of the fell out of the uh, momentum jar for them, right? And so we really want them to, as Bengal slash neutral fans, neutral fans up here, we just want competition. Wouldn't you agree? Wink, yeah. wink. We just want competition. No, <laughs> you can be a biased um, color commentator, okay? I mean, I am. Yeah, we're gonna go to break, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you back here in just a short amount of time. Bengals down, one set to two. Come out serving strong with a one point lead. Tight first set, Bengals win 25-23, and then they lose the next two 12 and nine points consecutively. Looking to change that around is Evelyn Thorman's guard, who came out swinging at the end of set one, and now serving tough. Starting off with some strong energy, getting that lead on the Elks. They look like they're having a little more fun. Serve tough. Setter says, I got this. That is Cotton, who was in the front row, so she is completely legal to jump and attack that ball. Got to stop this run out of the Bengal passers. Hi, deep. I'm not going to lie, Lydia Erie looks a little bit guilty. She swung her hands at that ball and was lucky not to catch it. Her mom's the line judge. I wonder if she'd call her on the touch. Of course she would. Nice run, gap set by the Elks. Langman for the kill. That's what I get for making comments on our officiating crew. It's my fault. Bengals looking to pass to get a side out. They're still up three to two. Thorman's guard with the reverse to Kappas on the right side. Who gets the kill off of three different sets of hands on the Elk River side. 4-2 lead for the Bengals. Back in his hands in. Another note for our crowd here. Kappas back over on the right side. Smith back in the middle. Now on the bench. Serving for her is Erie. I don't like that set. I'm not going to lie to you. Not going to lie. But color me impressed on the standing swing by Langman from the right side. Nobody knew what that was, including her. After she scores, she looks around in bewilderment. 3-4, Elks down by one. Hund, high, deep five. Easy swing for a short outside hitter since the block is committing and the middle back defender is trying to line up with her shoulders and all she has to do is drop that thumb. Great serve for Langman. I don't know how many aces she's got on the night, but that's not her first. And that's probably not her fastest serve. She's got a wicked serve. Bengals got to get a side out here. Coming in short, trying to mess with the serve reception. Brown with high hands. Middle dig, free ball to the Bengals. Out of system. Sending it over, giving it away is Kappas. Smart play. Setter dump. <laughs> Elk River. Six four lead is Elk River. Coach got her sub into the sub zone before the whistle blew. Refs just didn't see it. So Paige Pro coming in here. Solid pass by Erie. 
Brown swinging heavy. This is everything at point. Elk River, 7-4, three-point lead. Langman going back again to serve. The senior middle blocker with the purple shoes. Just a bit outside. Burnett coming in to serve. And play back row for the Bengals. Probably going to set. And that's where she Coach Thomas making the most out of her whole roster. Burnett missing long. Coach Thomas in her first season here with Bent Blaine under fire with a global pandemic making all kinds of changes and mask wearing and practices and warm ups. Doing a great job handling all of those responsibilities as Thomas. Shot from Thormitz guard. Elk River sets their right side, which Olivia, they are really comfortable running their offense through. And that's Cotton, she's gotta have at least 10 kills. I probably should have been keep keeping track of that, but that is not my specialty. And I forgot to tell you to do it. So here we are, playing volleyball, making estimates. High, deep, missing everything is Norman's guard. Elk River on a bit of a run here, feeling familiar. Olivia shaking her head, wanting the Bengals to respond. And just having, having a little bit of a momentum shift here. Serving well are the Elks. Great pass from Brown on the right side, she swings. In trouble, but dealing with it are the Elks. Tough ball for Brown, who's athletic and just takes care of it. Cotton with a big swing, some confusion, and the ball goes down. It's a tough ball to take when it rolls off the block like that. A little bit of confusion right between the two players' defensive responsibilities. Olsen serving. Tough ball. Burnett hustling to get there and give him a chance. Out of the net, over his Crow. Hund from the outside. Crow, easy dig. Thormans guard, heavy swing. Doug, but sent it to next week. Beautiful swing, pop heavy. Like we said earlier. She went down swinging in set three, came out serving gangbusters in this set. So look for her if she gets that ball, if Burnett can get her that ball, she may be a go-to right now. We'll see. Studer serving into the net, side out for the Elks. 12-6 lead for them. They'll make a sub of their own. The other Langman coming into the front row. This one, Jordan, serving as Hund. Senior outside hitter and captain. Stewart with a solid pass. Burnett into her own hands. Anything you can do, I can do. Schmitz with a big swing to the spot. Oh, for the kill. Really good angle to take. She avoided that block and put it down. Finally getting a little bit more comfortable contact position with that arm and finding the court instead of sending it long and wide. Hansen, same serve as her first. A little wide. Not quite the serve she was looking for. Coach Thomas saying, well, one of our middles has to serve, so there it is. Well, maybe not has to, but here we are. Bengals playing on. Elk River running their middle. And there it is again. Langben, kind of the sure thing in that front row. Kind of a sure thing. Swimming again is Melcher. Dropping in short, Studer keeps it alive, but the Elk River Elks are in system. Here comes Olsen. Oh, that is not Olsen. Olsen to cut. The setter to the right side combo that's been working all night long. The Bengals have any hope of making a comeback here and pushing this out to five. We've got a couple of extra whistles. Coach called a timeout. Whistles didn't happen loud or soon enough. The handheld whistle is not quite as loud as using your lungs, wouldn't you agree? Definitely. Hard to hear on the board, hard to hear up here. Smart timeout by Coach Thomas. What do you think she's talking to the squad about? She's really got to get themselves going, pull back in this game, try and see what they can get, bring it to five. Find ways to put points on the board, inside out. 
I would say right now, if they can focus on their passing, the rest of the game will come. That that would be my that would be my guess. Now, because it all starts with a pass. It's a serve and pass game at this level and basically every level. Quick timeout for everybody. Everyone back on the court after not using nearly a full timeout. Not a whole lot to say on the last day of the season, maybe. Or just reiterating the same things they've been saying. High deep serve is Melcher. Or is that home? I'm not sure. High outside ball to the outside hitter on the outside. That is Langben. High outside to Eliana Schmitz with the cut. Back row attack from Hund. Good high deep ball, but played by Studer. Set by Casey Burnett, and that's just a good idea. Good play to run. You're looking for her to find the floor on that one with that ball. You don't want you don't want her to swing away. You want her to find the court on the out assistant ball like that. So I want swings that are in. I, I really. <laughs> I'm a Bengal. I want us to win. <laughs> Excellent point. Excellent point. Miss Sir gives Bengals a side out and an ace for Evie Thomas guard. It's a 9-16 game for the Bengals. Again, you and I might be biased. But we know good volleyball when we see it, and Elk River is certainly showing us some of that. Free ball to the Bengals. Studer uses her hands. Lane makes a great play. Gets a great pass swing, pass set and swing. But then I think we had uh, some officials calling out of bounds with the ball hitting the rafters on its way over. Smart play on the defender's side, on Elk River's uh, side of the net to make the, the Bengals have to think about it. But if it touches the ceiling, it's an out of bounds play. But then Thomas Garden says, I'm going to make this easy. Hey, sir. 11 16. Falling back are the Bengals. Thomas Guard at the serving line. Still high, deep serve. Uncomfortable are the Elks. Free ball for Blaine. Jump set. Controlled by the Bengals. Long enough to draw. I believe it was Cotton into the net. I saw a couple of twos go up on the official's hands. So smart, headsy play there by the Blaine front row. Pass through with her hands. Tip by Langman, Jordan Langman. Ella Pappas, sharp cross. It's kind of, go ahead. Good swing. I love to see. That is a nice run there. Six points, I believe. And Elk River needing a timeout right now because if they let this go any longer, we're going five sets. And everybody in the gym wants that because everybody in the gym knows that once we leave here today, in just a handful of hours, we're on a four week pause of high school sports and youth sports in general. Tough time, tough time to be, uh, to be an active human being, wouldn't you say, Olivia? For sure. That break out of the gym right before school season came back wasn't doing anyone any favors. So when it started, last minute, was that a good thing or was that a shocking thing? Or what, well, like, was it a scramble? I, I have never seen anything like this. I have coached for 15 years, Olivia. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. A little bit of a scramble getting right back in that rhythm of we're playing games every other day. Excellent. Thomas Guard with another tough serve. Langben tries to get a swing through, blocked, but the other Langben says, I'll cover, and clears the tape. You didn't like that side up. You wanted another Bengal point. I get it. It is 17-13. Wayne is down. Suter with a great pass. Run in their middle are the Bengals. Swing and big is Zoe Smith in Langben's hands. Just a little crooked on her press, and Zoe Smith with a big swing to take advantage. She's a hard hitter. She's definitely taking advantage on any shift in that block. 
Excellent observation. Schmitz with a great serve. Setter dump. Thormer's guard says no. Kappas with the hand. Studer in the net. She's going to swing. Here comes Paige Crow, senior. Putting another defensive player in that back row. We got a pretty solid defense. And serve receive as well, I would say. To jump on to that point. Here's Koski. Great to Paige Crow, who dimes it. Studer with a quick swing on the other side of the net. Langman presses it into the first side of the net. Point Bengals, 15-18. Hands it back in, Smith to the bench. Lydia Erie at the serving line. Coach Thomas has got to be happy with who's, who's out there right now, especially at that serving line. Free ball, Paige Crow, easy pass up. Studer, high out of system ball, blocked by Elk River. Reverse to Kappas, who swings into hands, still playing. That's Hunt, who just gives it away smartly. Thormis guard with a jump, and she gets him. Definitely a good spot for a jump, both time-wise and position-wise on that court. All ma match long. Melcher and, and I believe it was Cotton in the back row have been picking that ball up. One of them has been going that time. They both hesitated. Erie, great serve. Right side with a tip. Paige Crow diving. Studer gets blocked, but she's covered. Excuse me, my apologies, I moved on before the officials did. We got four contacts there. They say Studer's swing didn't clear and get it in blocker's hands, so that's four contacts on Blaine. 19-16, Blaine's down. Kappas, big swing, but not quite there. Elk River's Lang been back at the serving line. 6-2 middle blocker, we might have talked about her. Bengals passers ready, but don't get to the serve right into the net, and here comes Burnett. 17-20. Free point might be the start for this momentum. And senior Casey Burnett also playing in her last high school match. Great career here with Blaine. Controlled serve, well set to that right side, dug well by Burnett. Thorman's guard with a swing and a kill. Point Bengals, 18 to 20. Always nice when that ball's out of system, you can still get a solid swing off your pin hitters. Agreed, agreed. And Burnett with a clutch dig from the lefty Olsen on the right side. Solid serve. Over the right side again is Olsen to, from Cotton to Olsen. Setting Studer, cover herself. Sharp cross, Burnett just not quite there, but great touch on it. 21-18, the Elks will serve, and we've got that setter switch. So now the lefty Olsen is going to the back row and Cotton comes to the front row. My guess is they're gonna set the right side. If they have the opportunity. Stuber slight miss on that pass. And by slight, I mean a lot. Coach Thomas smartly taking their second time out here. We've got an 18-22 deficit. Nothing I, that the Bengals can't come back from. Just got to get around that ball. And I don't want to do this to you, but I kind of got to because we've got an, an audience that is diverse and wants to see two different teams play. What do you think Elk River's talking about in their huddle? What do they want to do here? Elk River's just going to want to keep pushing. They've already got the lead. They've got that momentum going forward. They've got the serve. Whoever's back's a strong server. Yes, this is Olsen serving. Senior setter. Just a little bit of experience on the court and uh, as a varsity player. And by a little, I mean a lot. Here we go. 22-18. Bengals wanting to slow this run so they can keep on keep on playing and keep their season going just a little bit longer. Olsen serving. Fury passing solid. Burnett to Thormuth guard. Easy kill. Nobody anywhere near it. Clean set to an outside was apparently not what the Elks were expecting. And again, Evie, the fire in the last bunch of points here. Good for her. Studer at the service line. Nice serve. 
out of system are the Elks, but they haven't had trouble all night. And again, Cotton takes care of her. Kind of a miss hit and not, a, not the greatest out of system swing, but because of the net contact and the bounce, it's a point for the, for the Elks. Crunch time for the Bengals. 23-19, serving is Hund. Here passing. Great concentration. I believe someone's in the net. I'm biased. I'm going to say very little if I can. Uh, Wiggles got called in the net here. It's 24-19. Substitution for Elk River. I believe Coach is putting a senior on the court because she's a senior. And this is probably her, could be potentially her last point or last points of her high school career. Great pass again is Erie, the senior, to Schmitz, the point, and the kill, and the game goes on. 2024. Let me just, I, I want to go pat Coach Thomas on the back. She's got a sub coming in. Allie Towell for Jillian Hansen. Just a couple of serves. Smart move, smart move. She's a first year coach, but you know, She's got the smarts, so great serve by Allie. Great serve there, out of system. Free ball coming back over. Pass by Allie Tao to the middle, Zoe Smith. Over the, and around the block, but the Elks are still alive. Schmitz with a good dig. Free ball going back for Elk River. They're in system, where will they go? Right side, I think so. No, says Studer. We play on. Back row attack for Hund. Studer again there with the dig, but not clear of the net. And we've got a game set match for Elk River. 25-20 victory, 3-1, three, three sets to one over Blaine. And there's a nice round of applause for all of the players and for a, a match and a season that is one for the history books. I mean, very, I'm gonna say it, sorry crowd, unprecedented. Great heart by these players and these coaches and these teams and these fans to come out and support these athletes in their one last hurrah before, you know, the four week pause. This is Celeste Gorman. I'm alongside Olivia Durain, Jr., Blaine High School Junior, JV Middle, middle blocker, student extraordinaire, band clarinet player. Thank you, Olivia, for joining us tonight. Alongside also Ranthil at the camera, Jeremy back in the studio, probably others. But if I can't see them and I don't know their names, I can't give them credit. Thank you for joining us tonight. Everybody stay safe and wear your masks.